Hey everyone, thanks for joining today. Today we're going to be going over the FJX 3M and 3S models. The FJX 3M is our universal mount, so it'll work on most camera brands and will work on Sony with a Sony adapter. The FJX 3S is a Sony specific mount and will work only on Sony cameras. The nice thing about the FJX 3S and 3M is they'll work with the FJ series line of lights. When it comes to charging the FJX 3 series of triggers, it's never been easier. Simply take your USB-A to USB-C cord and insert it into the port on the side of the FJX 3 trigger. One of the great features of the FJX 3 triggers is the removable battery. Simply pull this up and you are able to remove the battery. The nice thing about the FJX3 series battery is that you can purchase these individually online and have multiples should you need them. When you go to reinsert a new battery, just simply line up the pins on the side, drop it in, and replace the cover. To power on the FJX3 series of triggers, simply hold down the power button and it'll turn on. To power off, you do the same thing. Just hold down the power button until the screen goes black. When it comes to test firing your light, make sure you have your light connected. Simply just hit the test button on the side here to fire your light. Should you want to lock your FJX3, simply hold down the channel lock button. Once it's locked, no buttons will be actionable and you won't accidentally hit any settings. To unlock it, simply do the same thing. Hold down the channel lock button until the green lock disappears. If you want to set any different settings on your FJX3 series of triggers, simply hold down the sync and menu button once you hold that for about two seconds, it will bring you into the menu. From there, use the control pad to go up and down, and then use the center button to enable or disable any settings that you would like to change. When it comes to changing the camera compatibility on your FGX 3M, simply hold down the sync and menu button. From there, at the very top of the menu, it'll say camera. Simply hit the center button and select whatever camera brand you would like. Once you have selected, hit the center button again, and hold down the sync menu button to return to the main screen. For the FJX3 series of triggers, there are a couple settings that we want to give recommendations on. First is X Sync. Make sure that is turned off. The only time to use that is if you have a film camera or a medium format camera. That will disable high speed sync and TTL. The next is power. Power determines the power of the wavelength for the wireless signal. Always set it to normal. The only time you would set it to max is if you're shooting across a football field or a very large distance. When mounting the FJX 3M to any non-Sony camera, simply just make sure your scroll dial is loosened, simply slide it onto the hot shoe and tighten it down. To remove it, do the same thing. Loosen the hot shoe dial and remove the FJX 3M off of the camera hot shoe. When it comes to attaching the FJX 3M on the Sony, simply grab your Sony adapter, slide that on, make sure your hot shoe dial is loosened, slide the FJX 3M and to the Sony adapter and tighten down. And you're ready to go. If you would want to remove it, just do the same process. Loosen the locking dial, remove the FGX 3M off, and slide your Sony adapter off as well. When it comes to putting your FGX 3S on your Sony, it's never been easier. Because it's a Sony specific hot shoe mount, simply just slide it right onto the Sony hot shoe and lock it down. Should you want to remove it, simply just go in reverse and remove your trigger. We're gonna go over the best settings for your cameras for getting the best usability out of the FJX3 and the FJ80 version two. Let's start off with Sony. For Sony settings, there are a few settings you wanna to change to get the best compatibility with our triggers. First, we'll turn off red eye reduction. We will turn off E front curtain shutter. Turn off silent shooting. You would want to set your flash mode to fill in Make sure wireless is off. Next up, we're gonna talk about Fuji and the best settings to set for best compatibility with the FJX3 and the FJ80 version two transceiver. For Fuji settings, the two settings that you wanna change are shutter type, you need to set that to mechanical, and set red eye removal to off. Let's go over the best settings for Nikon cameras for best compatibility with the FJX3 and the FJ80 version two transceiver. For Nikon DSLRs, Ensure that the shutter is set to mechanical if it does have a electronic shutter in it. Make sure again it's set to mechanical. Also, you want to make sure in your E1 flash sync menu 
that is set to auto FP 1 2 50th if possible. For your mirrorless cameras, there are a few different settings we need to check. Again, we want to make sure that the shutter is set to mechanical. Ensure silent photography is turned off. Make sure your flash mode is set to fill in. And again, make sure your E1 flash sync menu should be set to auto FP 1 200th or 1 250th. Let's go over the different settings for Canon cameras to ensure best compatibility with the FJX3 and the FJ80 version 2 transceiver. All right, for Canon, there's a few things that we're going to change. Let's start off with DSLRs. For DSLRs, ensure that silent live view is disabled. Make sure that you have flash enabled. Red eye reduction, make sure you set it to disable. For mirrorless, there are a few things that we want to set as well. We want to make sure silent shutter is off, the silent live view is disabled, and make sure if you're able to set your shutter to mechanical, set it to mechanical and not electronic front curtain. Let's go over the best settings for Panasonic to ensure best compatibility with the FJX3 and the FJ80 version 2 transceiver. For Panasonic, there are a few settings we need to change. Make sure red eye removal is off, make sure wireless is off, silent mode should be turned to off, and shutter type should be set to mechanical. Thanks for watching everyone. If you should have any other questions on camera compatibility or settings, feel free to look at our website on our compatibility chart or reach out to us at support at fjwestcott.com. Thanks for watching.